12 o'clock with the Chargers, which are the 7 seed, traveling to the Bengals, which are the 5 seed. Bengals serve at 3 points on CBS in what is arguably the biggest game of the day. You have the 5 seed going against the 7 seed. And again, this is a close AFC. So a loss here likes you, likely not just drops you out of the playoff. Like, if the season ended today, you would be in the playoffs. It likely drops you out of that, but likely drops you down to a team, uh, like a 7 uh, not a 7, like a 9 or 10 seed. That is how insanely close the AFC is this year. The Bengals and the Chargers. You had the two second-year quarterbacks playing for the playoff spot. It's actually rather interesting because most years, a sophomore quarterback makes the postseason. Outside of last year, you can look back, and it is a quite a trend. I mainly exclude last year because outside of Kyler Murray, who ended up getting hurt at the end of the year, so he couldn't even play for his team, um, the quarterbacks are just all not that great. Dwayne Haskins ended up getting benched, and Taylor Heineke, a undrafted guy, had an old Dominion who really retired from the NFL and didn't think he was ever going to see the field again, uh, was a better quarterback than him, it turns out. Daniel Jones is a... I don't think he's a bust. I just think he's been surrounded by no talent whatsoever. Drew Locke is 100% a bust, and there's just no other quarterbacks to mention in that class. But you look outside of that class, sophomore, the sophomore thing usually stands still. In his sophomore season, Patrick Mahomes and Deshaun Watson and Mitchell Trubisky all made the postseason. The year after that, um, um, Josh Allen in his soft, uh, Josh Allen and Lamar Jackson in their sophomore years made the postseason. And then who was in the draft class after that? Hmm. Oh, yeah, that was last year, I think. I'm pretty positive that was last year. Yeah, that was last year. Um, and then the year before that, you had Wentz lead his team to the postseason, who was a sophomore quarterback. Again, the sophomore quarterback thing typically holds up if you look at the teams throughout the past, uh, past 20 years or so. It Typically, a sophomore quarterback makes the postseason if you exclude last year. What is so interesting about this year is there are legitimately four sophomore quarterbacks that might lead their team there. And you're looking at two of them, Justin Herbert and the Chargers, and Joe Burrow and the Bengals. Now, I do think Jalen Hurts and the Eagles have an upward battle, but they play in the NFC, which means they definitely hold their own destiny in their hands. Uh, Tua Tagovailoa and the Dolphins definitely have an uphill climb, but they've been playing at a pretty high level recently, so I would not count them out entirely either. It's really interesting how this playoff picture is going to shake out. Um, but I think the Bengals are a better football team. They've been playing more consistently. The Bengals coming off a huge win, a dominant win, over the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, the last time they had a dominant win over the Pittsburgh Steelers, I believe, they went and played the Jets the next week and absolutely got crushed. But on the other hand, Chargers coming off a humiliating loss to the Denver Broncos, a game where they had a chance to take the four seed in the AFC, take control of the AFC West, and instead ended up losing and dropping to the seven seed. Um, so the Bengals sit in a very favorable position where if they win and the Ravens lose, they could take control of the AFC North. And the AFC is a very tight race. I'm going to pick the Bengals to win this one. I think they're a better football team. I'm going to go with the Cincinnati Bengals.